Welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. My name is George Wright III with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education for your Monday morning. I hope you had an amazing weekend. Looking forward to talking with you this week and helping you to create some inspiration and unleash your true potential. You know, many of you may not know this, but the Daily Mastermind was created for many, many different reasons, but a lot of those reasons were for my own personal benefit. And that is, you know, I love learning, I love studying topics, doing personal development, and uh, creating the Daily Mastermind mobile app and, and the podcast specifically was a way for me to also create daily rituals in my life and, and maintain this personal mindset throughout the day. It also gave me the ability to create some focus and uh, especially in my busy day. But most importantly, it was helping me and individuals in my life to create and maintain persistence. You know, persistence, according to Napoleon Hill, is that difference maker, that big key difference between success and failure in so many different situations in life. And I know that you've probably experienced this yourself, Um, because the lack of persistence when it comes to accomplishing your goals is one of the biggest things that holds you back, and it holds you back from your goals and dreams and desire. You know, all of us have had experiences and times in our life where we've wanted to quit, we've wanted to give up, we've wanted to, you know, take the easy road, but we know, we know deep down inside that sticking to something long-term and persisting is what's going to generate the rewards. You know, Calvin Coolidge said, nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not, because the world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. The slogan, press on, has solved and always will solve the problems of the human race. I think deep down we all know that one of the magic key required ingredients of success is persistence. But there's something we don't really talk about. And we don't generally talk about what do you do to create persistence? Because persistence is simply a state of mind. And therefore, it can get cultivate it. You can build it. You can grow the ability that you have to be persistent. And I know we understand that you've got to stick to things if you want them to be able to turn out. But how many of us have really broken down what it takes to create persistence and to engage in activities that will allow us to become more persistent? Because the lack of persistence can simply be changed with a little bit of effort and focus. Let me give you some examples of how you can do this. Number one, having a definite of pur- definiteness of purpose. You know, when you know what you want and it's clear and it, like, like we talked about your vision, it's much easier to stick to something that you believe can happen and that you, you can identify with. And when it's really ambiguous and, and, and kind of general, it's easy to give up, right? Number two, another thing you can do is increase your desire. You know, you can grow and build your desire for something by focusing on it. And that will increase your ability to be persistent and stick to things. Self-reliance is another way to build persistence. It's much easier to stick to something when you're more self-reliant and not dependent on other people to help you get what you need. Definiteness of plans. Nothing builds more confidence and more motivation than having a specific plan. Without a plan, that's why people that want to create a better life that don't have a plan, they, you know, they're tired at the end of the night. They go home and they just kind of kick back and they, don't, and they don't stick to things. Another way to increase your persistence is to learn new skills or apply knowledge. When you learn specific details and skills and things that can help you to accomplish your goals, It'll increase your confidence, it'll give you more solutions and ideas, and it'll help you believe and have faith that you can continue on. Another way to increase your persistence is through cooperation or masterminding. When you surround yourself with like-minded people that are focused on similar causes like the power of the mastermind, you're going to have a much greater chance of being persistent. And that's absolutely something that I would recommend. And, you know, the other suggestion I have is daily rituals. We talk about it a lot. But the reason you have daily rituals is to create habits. And habits 
will allow you to be more consistent and persistent with what you're trying to accomplish. Because when you have habits, you don't have to put as much effort into what you're doing because your mind and your neuro, your neurology and you know everything about your life assists you in these habits. So, you know, what I wanted to do today is just really emphasize this need and the power of persistence and your focus on building more. You know, prosperity pillar number three talks about I act in spite of my mood. Well, how do you do that? You build your persistence. So I wanted to be able to inspire you a little bit. I downloaded a, a couple of examples of persistence and how persistence can reward you, but also maybe give you a little bit of inspiration as to things that you didn't realize required persistence and paid off. So let me give you some examples. NASA experienced 20 failures in its 28 attempts to send rockets to space. That's pretty bad odds. Tim Ferriss sent his breakthrough New York Times bestselling book, The 4-Hour Workweek, to 25 publishers before one finally accepted it. Henry Ford's early business failed multiple times. He it left him broke over five times where he before he had actually founded Ford Motor Company. We've all heard of how Walt Disney went bankrupt after failing at several businesses. He was even fired from a newspaper for lacking imagination and good ideas. Seriously, no imagination, Walt Disney. Albert Einstein was thought to be mentally handicapped before changing the face of modern physics and winning the Nobel Prize. How about that for trying to persist? It even took Thomas Edison a thousand attempts before inventing the light bulb. His teachers told him growing up he was stupid and too stupid to learn anything. Dr. Seuss's first book was rejected 27 times by publishers before it was accepted. Uh, Vincent Van Gogh sold only one painting in his lifetime, though today his works are priceless. Think about that. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team for not being good enough. There's a great example of persistence. And here's one of my favorites. J.K. Rowling was nearly penniless, you know, severely depressed, divorced, single mom, went to school um, while writing Harry Potter. And Rowling went from needing government assistance to being one of the richest women in the world in a five-year span through her hard work and persistence. So these are just all examples of how some of the greatest successes in life required the ability for someone to persist. It's not just about challenges. It's not just about obstacles. It's not just about the solution. It's about your ability to persist. It's a muscle. It's a skill set. It's something that you can grow and you can learn to grow. And it's something that's required for you to be successful in life. That's my message for today. I hope you'll learn to find ways to persist and to push and get that one more rep in the gym or that one more extra call in at work or going that one extra mile for your relationship or for someone that you feel maybe isn't reciprocating for you. Just do what you can to persist, and I promise you it'll come back to help you. I hope you'll share this episode with someone else that that could use it. I really, really want to be able to make a difference for people that sometimes get stuck in their life. And so if you refer this episode and also download that Daily Mastermind mobile app. If you haven't, we're changing. We're putting a lot more stuff in. It's all free content. Um, But that's my message for you today. I hope you have an amazing day. Once again, my name is George Wright III, and this has been the Daily Mastermind.